I'm old man Pete. <laughs> oh, it's October. Halloween's coming up. <laughs> Certainly isn't my favorite holiday. I don't, <laughs> just, you know, I don't. It's okay. I don't mind it. It's, but I haven't done a scary video reaction for a while. They don't get a lot of views or a lot of likes, but I, I still like doing them. And sometimes I jump. <laughs> I didn't think I did, but I do. <laughs> so, got my headphones around my neck, put them on my ears. That's the way they work. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, I didn't read the. Okay. <laughs> the title is Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to Make Yellow Pants. <laughs> That's funny. So let's see if I pee my pants, or does it mean something else? I don't know. <laughs> now, I don't want the volume too high because I don't, I don't want to get scared. I haven't seen these. I haven't, I haven't scanned through them or anything, or you know. The ritual and the wardrobe. Paolo and Debbie from the. The ritual and the wardrobe. What does that mean? So they're going to do some kind of ritual. Let's go back. Paolo and Debbie from the popular Italian YouTube channel Pit Paranormal Investigation Team attempt a ghost summoning in an old house. Allegedly, if done correctly, this ritual is said to summon any supernatural entity residing in a home. You know, some people, they play around with the occult. Let me just say ahead of time, if you do this, you'll probably get positive or I don't maybe I want to use the word positive, but these things do work. But the results may not be very favorable. <laughs> you, you might really get scared or even spiritually damaged. Uh, I, it's, it's very dangerous to dabble in the occult. Uh, there's other views and definitely other religions and other people who would have their own opinions. But, you know, take it from one who's been there. I, it's, it, it can be very dangerous when you're dealing in the spiritual or even demonic realm. The summoning requires one person to sit inside a closed space, like a wardrobe, in the dark, with nothing but a few matches for light. Okay. If the summoner hears anything abnormal, they light a match immediately and chant the sentence, quote, show me the light or leave me in eternal darkness. Whoa! Well, that sounds like something occultic. <laughs> so, somehow, Paolo convinces his girlfriend Debbie to attempt the strange ritual inside a small cramped wardrobe in the old house. She looks like Marsha. It didn't. <laughs> Doesn't she look like Marsha Brady from the Brady Bunch? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I'm, so, I'm sorry. She just, she just gave me like Brady Bunch vibes. Not go well. Uh oh. Paul. Oh. Credo che ci sia qualcosa qua nell'armadio con me. Vuol dire che funziona. La prossima volta devo prendere dei fiammiferi un pochino più lunghi. Sei qua? Paolo? Oh. Isn't she supposed to call out in the dark and then if it answers, she's, why is she lighting a match now? If you don't do these rituals right, it could be even more dangerous. I feel like it's scratching the wall. Grattando la parete. Grattando. Te lo giuro, ho sentito. Tu ti rendi conto che io non sento niente di qua? Senti? No, ora lo sento forse. Burn the house down. Hai sempre fiammi fra accesi. Eh, sto continuando ad accenderne, durano pochissimo. Secondo te cosa vuole? Cosa farà? What do you think it wants? Sono, sono, sono curioso. Yeah, curiosity killed the cat. You know, curiosity can be dangerous. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so parental and against it, but you know, it's it. This is suspenseful, though. I'm sorry, my cursor in the way. Burning down to your fingers. She's gonna scream. There's gonna be a scream, I bet. Oh! 
Oh no 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I scared my cat. I'm sorry, Theo. <laughs> my cat's sleeping right here on the floor. Well, that scared me. I'm sorry. I, it scared me. Oh, God. Did, was that real? Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding. Look at this. There's a hand on her shoulder here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. You've got to be kidding me. That. Oh, this can't be real. Or it can be, actually. Rosa! Rosa! Open the door, let her out. Just let her out. She wants to turn the light on. Poor honey, that scared the crap out of her. <laughs> It scared me too. Ok. Quindi, Paolo. cosa è successo? Allora, Ti ho sentito urlare praticamente due volte. Allora, la prima volta mi sono spaventata perché mi ha alitato nell'orecchio. Ok. Ok? E ho sbattuto la mano dallo spavento. Guarda, mi sta venendo un livido. Guarda. Ma veramente. Did she feel the hand on her shoulder though? Che guarda che roba. What mi happened? Mi sta venendo un livido alla mano, raga. Eh, non lo vedono, guarda. Cioè, non vede. sto scherzando, mi sono fatta veramente male. Cioè, non lo vedete, ma sì, sì, è tutto sì, qua. Yeah. Ok. Che mi sta... guardate. Mi sono fatta malissimo. Veramente malissimo. E mi poi perché adesso hai urlato? Male. Perché mi sono sentita qualcosa che mi toccava la spalla. Oh, she did feel it. She felt something touching her shoulder. Che mi toccava la spalla. Eh, non posso riaprirlo perché... Mi toccava la spalla. E adesso? No, no, adesso va via. Ah. Are you sure it goes away? <laughs> cioè, almeno c'è scritto quello. Mi oh, that's what's written. Okay. Debbie starts to freak out, and she feels like someone might be inside the wardrobe with her. Then suddenly a hand grabs her shoulder. In a panic, Debbie flees the small wardrobe and ends the summon. It, it could be a special effects or something, you know, added later. If it was a person, where would they be hiding in that space? Or it could be real. You know, I still believe in this stuff, you know. It's her shoulder. In a panic, Debbie... Boy, that scared me. ...flees the small <laughs> wardrobe and ends the summoning. So could it be that this <clears throat> cryptic ritual brought out a dark supernatural entity? Let me know down in the comments. Slipping through the trees. A little while ago, I featured the creepy story of Lauren Combs, who over the course of a year captured multiple mysterious unexplained events in her home in Waco, Texas. Oh, 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 yeah, I did a video on this one. Yeah. This was the one where she got her hair pulled. Yeah, I've seen these. The doorbell, yeah. And her hair gets lifted. Ugh, that's freaky. I remember that one. And that voice calls her. Someone in the comments says it, it called her name. Oh my god. Now, since these terrifying events, Lauren has installed a new security camera in her backyard. Uh -huh. Because eerily, a lot of the strange activity at her home seems to take place in the wooded area just behind her house. So late one night... So this is in Texas. Waco, Texas? Lauren is hanging out and casually playing some Call of Duty with her roommate when their dogs begin to totally freak out for no apparent reason. Uh oh. The puppy senses something. Here's the ghost outside. Ruff, ruff, What happens next is all caught. That's a cute little doggy. On camera. <laughs> Look at them. They're all doing, they're all walking in unison. <laughs> The 
dogs all seem freaked out by something that is going on outside the house. So Lauren checks her outside security cameras and sees something. She still has that skeleton in the yard there. That chills her to her core. What? Ooh. It's a very pixelated camera. Look at the jagged edges on that chair there. Okay, something's... Yeah, I see that. What is that? It's like white head of something. Ugh, I'd hit, I, I wouldn't want to live right next to a forest like that. Anyone could just... If, there, if it wasn't gated, any we, weirdo... Someone or something can be seen quickly pacing... Ooh, or whoa, whoa, that was a face. That looked like a, a woman's face. Someone... Doesn't that look like the face, like a woman's face? Ah, oh, that's freaky. They can be seen quickly pacing or maybe even running back and forth along the tree line in Lauren's backyard. Oh, that's creepy. Lauren has no idea who or what this That motion is really strange. But did she see it with her eyes or was it just on the camera? And is extremely disturbed by the whole experience, especially after everything else that has happened in the past. Hmm. So just what do you think is going on here? And what is this? I would check out like the history of the property, or the house, you know, what you have in the house. Or do you have any like articles, like occultic article? I mean, it's these, you know, that's what I would do if I was investigating this. I know I talk about a lot about the occult, but it does attract, you know, these type of presences or spirits or whatever you want to call them. The Furious Phantom. Oh. These next creepy videos were recorded by a family in their home in Staffordshire, England. The father of the family, who goes only by the username Smug Puppy, explains <laughs> that they've been experiencing chilling par Okay. Interesting name, Smug Puppy. <laughs> paranormal activity in their home for the last 25 years. But the supernatural Ow. encounters have never been as active and terrifying as they are now. One day, Smug Puppy and his daughter are casually hanging out in their home. His daughter is filming their cat, Lily, who is awkwardly sleeping on top. Oh, that's a pretty cat. Some people don't like black cats. I like them. They're, they're, I think they're beautiful. I like all cats. Top of some cans and bottles. Look at those eyes. Suddenly, things <sighs> take a terrifying turn. Oh, he's sleeping on the bottles. <laughs> Look at it. Surely that isn't comfortable, so... 1997, wow. Are you enjoying my donkeys, Dad? That's okay, right on. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Wait, 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 what happened? What was it? It hit me. It hit me right around the face. I can't believe I've just caught that on camera. I can't believe it either. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Oh, come on. Oh, god, man. Are you okay? No, not really. Something invisible seems to slap Smug Puppy hard across his face. I hate to be so critical, but that can be so easily staged. I could just be sitting here like, oh, yeah, it's like we got to take his word for it. Now, if it really happened, it happened. I, I don't know, though. That's <laughs> in a later video. He explained that he had been angrily shouting at the entity earlier. Ups Why? Upset about the intense recent supernatural activity. He suspects that he might have angered the paranormal presence and mm. caused this bizarre attack. Maybe. Cut to over one month later, and Smug Puppy sees something unusual out of the corner of his eye. He quickly grabs his phone and begins to record. Okay, you guys, I'm filming this door because he keeps seeing a shadow something go past. Uh, I keep hearing noises. Uh, what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Come here and bring your phone. Just bear with me a sec. Sorry guys. Just 
Need some paint on their walls. Look at that scratch over. <laughs> What's what happened? Me a sec, I keep seeing that kind of move past this door. Door move? Is moving that door. I want to prove there's nothing in there. Second. Yeah, the door slammed and now it's rattling. Shut it up. You got me? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go back in the there because the rest of the guys there. I'm not moving. Uh, come here. Film around the bed and everything. Make sure there's nothing in there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, film me. Film the door. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Bloody walking stick. Yeah, you see. Well, that's interesting, you know. There doesn't look like there was anyone in there. I... Nothing, just dressing gowns. A dark figure seems to dart back and forth. Ooh, I didn't see that. In the doorway, the super. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you that. For fast speed before slamming the bedroom door shut. Hmm. The door handle shakes uncontrollably. But once the father and daughter are finally able to get inside the bedroom, there's nothing there. So could it be that this family home is haunted by a dangerous entity? It could be. I don't know. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? How would you do that with the shadow passing through there? I, I'm wondering how that could be created or it could be real. I, I don't know. It wasn't really all that terrifying. I, the, the slap, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm still unconvinced about that, if that was real or not. The shadow and the slamming and the rattling, that, that seemed a little bit more real. You decide. The flyby. So far, the first one. I don't, maybe they should have saved that for the end because <laughs> that sh hand on the shoulder just made me <laughs> that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> yeah. The flyby. Okay. This next video was recorded by pilot Cesar Murillo Perez, who was flying an Airbus A320 passenger jet at 29,000 feet in the sky above Medellin, Colombia. He suddenly spots something. Very unusual. So this was a pilot, an actual Jewel. airline he grabs pilot? his phone and starts to record. Ooh, you don't want to see that as a pilot. <laughs> Unless that's been confirmed on the radar. I'd be more concerned that's another aircraft coming right at you. What is that? An unknown dark round object can be seen flying above the clouds at 29,000 feet. The pilot says that he has no idea what this object could be and the footage still remains a mystery. Hmm. So, let me know your th- Be something military or... What is its source of power? It doesn't have any wings of any kind. Could it be like a... I don't know if a drone could go that high. <laughs> 9,000 feet. The pilot says that he has no idea what this object... It's an unidentified flying object. <laughs> a UFO. I don't know. That looks weird. The fact that a pilot... An actually... unknown dark round object can be seen flying above the clouds at 29,000 feet. The pilot... That's interesting. I, just the shape of it and the look. It says that he has no idea. It really looks like something out of a movie. Idea ...what this object could be, and the footage still remains a mystery. Interesting. So, let me know your theories and ideas on just what this is. I have no idea. Thank you so much for watching. That, that was kind of interesting. Say, again and again, my upload schedule is crazy all over the place. So please subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll always know immediately when a new video is posted. And you can also follow me on the Instagram there and on the Twitter there and on the TikTok. <laughs> Click on one of these links for more scary videos and hopefully I'll see you back here again next time.
I did watch some of these. This one was kind of scary where that hand came on the car window. But the rest of the video compilations, I, I think Nuke makes, they're great compilations, but I just didn't, this one I, I watched through, but it just, I don't know. I was kind of critical of them. <laughs> you know, I, like I, like tonight, I, I, I had, I had my doubts on a lot of these. Uh, maybe I'm getting more skeptical, but that was a good compilation. Thank you, Nuke. Nuke's top five scary ghost videos. My pants aren't yellow, I don't think. No, they're, no, they're still, well, they're a little yellow, but that's, <laughs> they were like that before. No, that's, that's sick. Don't, don't talk like that. Anyways, that was, that was good. I think the one that really scared me the most, the hand on the shoulder, the first one. The other one that I thought was kind of creepy was, those uh two girls in Waco, Texas, they saw that thing moving in the woods. I just think it would be creepy to have such an expansive uh, forest in your backyard or see something moving through it. That would even if it was a person, it would be it would be scary. The other ones, eh, they were interesting, but I, I was a little skeptical of them. And you know, you have a right to your opinion. You know, a lot of people think all of these are fake and they're very skeptical. They don't believe in anything. I, I believe that there are possibilities of a different spiritual realm surrounding us, but you know, I won't get into that. Anyways, it's just, they're fun to watch. They're kind of exciting. They make you jump. It's Halloween coming up. So I thought I'd do one and I, I'll probably keep doing some more. Anyways, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, a like. Be sure to subscribe if you like the content. I really appreciate that. And uh, have a good night. Bye.